Wild Goose is this meeting place of people who are passionate about social justice and people who are delighted in music and art and culture and people who are driven, called by faith. And that intersection is an incredibly, incredibly unique and special place. And so now I understand why people are like, oh, I've gone once, so I had to go back. I have to come back every year because I'm now one of those people. One of the reasons I love Wild Goose Festival is we don't come here labeled atheist, agnostic, Hindu, Buddhist, whatever. We come here as human beings on a journey. A lot of us alienated from our religious paths on a journey somewhere else. Wild Goose Festival is the one place I go every year where I know I am not alone. imagine a better place to put your estate, put your, put your goods, uh, a better way to serve the kingdom of God than this, where all the pieces and parts of it come together and begin to talk about what it is we're building, to talk with each other. What, what are we trying to do here? What's God showing us? This is the big thing. You know, this, this is where it's going to be shaped and melded and formed. In the last few days, I've been part of discussions about sustainable economy, how do we stop nuclear weapons, about organizing people to resist uh, the next time our nation wants to go to war, urban farming. I mean, it's just one discussion after another uh, with people who care about living their lives in a way that'll make a difference. Wild Goose is a progressive, faith-based justice music and arts festival. Therefore, there's nothing remotely like it in the United States. I mean, this is it. And I think that we are seeing that there is a movement in America of progressive faith, of faith that uh, takes tradition seriously, but actually has an understanding of what it means to be people of faith now in the 21st century. And since we're in this almost like post-Christian age, Wild Goose is the, is the frontier of that, is saying, what's this gonna look like? How beautiful can this Jesus Christ thing actually be when it's lived out? And it's not lived out in a way that is oppressive and judgmental and all of the things that are attached to the word Christian uh, in popular culture right now. This place gives us the opportunity to be truly human with one another and to include one another, to see a world where love your neighbor is not just a good thing to say, but it's an ethic to be embodied. And the goose gives that. So much trouble so much pain Wanna heal the blind And cure the lame As Frank Schaefer spoke, he spoke of his young granddaughter that has changed his world and giving him a second chance at discovering God and discovering grace. I've heard that story three times before and yet it brought me to tears in a new powerful way as it connected with everything around. And I don't know why. Maybe it was the fact that there were people in that place that I got to come here and they were all together and communally together. There was something so powerful about hearing that story together with others. So I was just moved by that to realize how important it is to experience all this in community and how thankful I am for the Goose for that chance. Something's stirring in the world. There's things stirring in people. There's things stirring in different communities. There's real cultural shift that's happening in our world and the Wild Goose Festival is one of those places where it seems like something might happen. I find it to be a very imaginative exploration with other people about what could be. It doesn't have a person say come here and this will happen. It says come here and join with these other people and see what might happen. 
The wild goose is actually a place that is trying to break down the barriers which have divided people along lines of denomination, ideology, political party, class, race, gender, sexual orientation, and to actually engage strangers in conversations that are remaking the church right now in a way that's completely new. It is recreating the church, and we have no idea what that's going to turn out to be. I think if you look back at history, you can see the way that faith can be an incredibly positive force in social change. I think that's what we're seeing at Wild Goose is really the beginning of this movement. I really do think it's a movement. It's not just a festival. These are my people. This is the only time I get to do this. I can see one or two at this meeting or one or two at that, or I can Facebook back and forth. It's not the same, it's not the same. We're walking through the trees and down the trails and we're hearing people and we're listening to each other and we're, it's home. It's the annual homecoming.